Telecom is in five different market verticals, government, broadcast, maritime, wireless, and enterprise. Um, from an end-to-end perspective for our customers, it's really kind of going in line with our new theme of being an industrial Internet of Things provider. And whenever you're talking about the Internet of Things, use the acronym DNA, devices, networks, and applications. Um, from Globecom's perspective, we have various uh, agreements with device manufacturers. We can implement the sensors, devices, and aggregate that all together as far as the D. The network is Globecom's global network. Um, so that all that aggregation can go over either our satellite network or our fiber network, land at our teleports, and really manage all of that data for our customers and the A being the applications which manages that data. We have third party uh, providers that provide that, those applications. So from a Globecom perspective, it's way back in the consulting phase, designing and implementing, integrating, running as a managed service, providing lifecycle support, providing that data management, and lastly, we have our own cybersecurity wing of our company, which we're providing uh, cybersecurity facilities for that entire end-to-end -end solution. A good example is, uh, is a, co a company we're doing, the largest shipping company in the world, we're running a network that manages all of the data for their containers, their sea containers. So through a, a subcontract with Ericsson, Ericsson provided the cellular stations on all of the ships. Globecom provided the VSAT networks. We're providing the global connectivity, bringing all that connectivity, the sensors from all of those, uh, all of those sea containers back into our facility, and then managing the data, producing reports that allows the end customer to be able to save fuel, to be able to uh, conserve energy, and even reroute their boats according to, uh, according to tides and according to the weather to uh, make the most efficient deliveries. I'd have to say the biggest challenge worldwide for any solutions is really becoming security. I mean, security can be breached. You don't have any control over the personal nature, so you don't have any control over what person is going to click the wrong email, what person is going to bring a thumb drive into the, into the network erroneously, or any of that aspect. So it's really controlling the security aspects of the entire network would be the biggest challenge. I'd have to say that they should adopt a quality structure. Um, we, we go according to the ITIL industry terms and of service to IT service delivery. So basically what that's doing is it's allowing us to look into every aspect of our operations, our service delivery operations, and continually correcting and making sure that it's efficient, making sure that it's responsive to the customer, and ultimately making sure it's scalable so we can expand it to other customers.